Welcome to the Mortgage Rate Weekly Market Update for January 7th, 2019. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage, here to give you an update. Well, last week, mortgage rates continued to move lower. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see mortgage bonds have been rallying higher since November 8th when they hit the lows of the year, which means interest rates were as high as they've been in seven years on November 8th. But since then, we've been able to slowly rally off the support. Mortgage bonds have been moving higher, broke through um, all ceilings of resistance, 25 day, 50 day, 100 day, 200 day moving average. And then last week rallied again and broke through another floor of, I'm sorry, ceiling of resistance. Moved higher there, you can see, all the way up until Friday. On Thursday, the mortgage bond, big giant green candle, uh, that was the highest it had been in a very long time. But then on Friday, when the jobs report came out, you can see the red candle there. Mortgage bonds did sell off. Um, so mortgage interest rates did move slightly higher. Pretty much got us back to where we were on Wednesday. So mortgage rates are as low as they've been. Mortgage bonds have a nice rally, but have started to sell off. Stock market was rallying on the jobs report. So with all of that in mind, uh, looks like the mortgage bonds might be taking a breather here. Could continue to sell off. There's a, a nice a gap to get before we hit a floor of support. So with that in mind, we're going to recommend going ahead and locking in your mortgage interest rate to start the week. Take advantage of these low rates um, because it could get worse before it tries to get better again. Now, if we dig into the economic news, big report last week was the jobs report for December 2018. It showed 312,000 jobs created well above expectations of 180,000 jobs. And then the previous two months, October and November, were both revised higher by a combined 58,000 jobs. Um, so if we look at the three-month average, we're at 254,000 jobs being created each month. So that was a very, very good jobs report um, in terms of number of jobs being created. Then if we dig in further into the report, we had the unemployment rate, which actually ticked up from 37 to 3.9%, which seems very odd if we've created 312,000 jobs. Well, the reason for the disconnect is we have two different surveys. We use the business survey for the headline jobs number of 312,000, but then we use a household survey to come up with the unemployment rate. So in the household survey, there was only 142,000 jobs created, and we added 419,000 people to the workforce. So since we increased the workforce um, and didn't create as many jobs in the business survey, we could see the unemployment rate move up from 3.7 to 3.9 percent. So sometimes the devil's in the details. Now, if we look at the labor force participation rate, that measures how many people 16 years or older that are eligible to work, that are actually working. That moved up from 62.9 to 63.1 percent. So that shows that the economy is doing good. People are coming back to work. Now, the big factor for the bonds was the average hourly earnings. It was up 0.4%, which is 3.2% year over year. That's, um, that ties October for the best wage growth since April 2009. So wage growth is great for your earnings, but it's bad for mortgage bonds. That creates wage pressure inflation. So the bonds didn't like that on Friday, so they sold off. Also, the stock market loved the jobs report, so it rallied which also pulled money out of bonds. So it's kind of a double whammy there for mortgage bonds. Now, we also saw weekly initial jobless claims come out on Thursday. Claims moved up 10,000 to 231,000 claims for the week. This is a higher level of claims we've been seeing, but this could also be a skewed report because of the holidays, end of the year, and the partial government shutdown. So we'll have to see if this smooths out over the next um, couple weeks, or is this a trend of higher initial jobless claims, which could mean uh, could be a bad sign. Now, if we dig into the housing news, the uh, CoreLogic released their um, home price insight report for November 2018, which shows home price are up 0.4% from October and are up 5.1% year over year. Now, CoreLogic is predicting home prices to be up 4.8% year over year from November 2018 to November 2019. So what this shows is home prices are still going up but the rate at which they're going up is slowing, um, but home prices are still going up, so it still makes sense to purchase a home to build long-term wealth. If you don't own a home yet, or you're looking to downsize, upsize, give us a call, 302-703-0727, or get started online, PRMILoanApplication.com. We'd love to help you with that. Um, then if we dig into the local news, we've got a first-time homebuyer seminar this Saturday, January 12th in Newark, Delaware from 10 a.m. to noon at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. 
And then we're back in Wilmington on Wednesday, January 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, at Independence Mall, the EXP Realty Office on Concord Pike. You can register for either one of those events by giving us a call at 302-703-0727 or online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. And then we're back in Maryland on Saturday, January 19th in Edgewood, Maryland from 10 a.m. to noon. You can register for that event at 410-412-3319 or online, www.marylandhomebuyerseminars.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.